Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Morrowind. <clears throat> Pardon me, Morrowind. Um, as you may recall, last time we were named Hortator of Telvanni. And two episodes ago, we were named Norevarin of Urshrilaku. Here. And now we're heading here, to the Zynod camp. Um... As this is another Ashlander tribe. You're goddamn right you have. Look at my rep. Fifteen. Hell yeah. Come closer. Let me see you. I think it is you. The one they speak of. The outlander who claims he fulfills the prophecies. You should talk to Ashken Kushad. Kau Kaushad. He's the mightiest champion and greatest Ashken of all of the Ashlander tribes. A great man. You should talk to him. He's a very curious man. I was speaking with traders and travelers about the news of the world. Go ahead. Our great chief does not stand on ceremony. You may enter his yurt if you are clean and courteous. Well, I am. Let me actually, um... Yeah. Um... Sir? I hope this uh, generates some clout for me, because I am fending off a Daedra for you guys. <laughs> Get that out of there. Alright, where's this yurt you speak of? So you can see that Ashlander camps are set up in a very similar way to one another. Part of this is because they have a very specific way of living, but also, um, it's reused assets. I am... Sonomu Zabamat, wise woman of the Zainab. Come for services? I sell potions, charms, and marvels. Oh, for God's sake. Right, let's see what she's got. Divine aid. That's alright. Work barrier. Purge magic. That's not bad, actually. Let's see what else you got, huh? Fuck all. Give me that. You don't buy... Bro. Fuck you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Alright. Now where's this big guy's tent? Or yurt, rather. I think yurts are made differently. I think yurts are actually made of leather that's solidified in a certain way that makes it so that they stay solid. Is it here? Ashkan's yurt. Do you have something to say, Outlander? Hi, Kaushad. So you are Galena Pitchblend, Outlander who claims to fulfill the prophecy. You're welcome to our hospitality, but tell us, how can an Outlander be the Nereverine? We've heard the rumors, we know you're the BL, yada yada. Teach us. Tell your story, show your proofs, as to be named Nereverine. Ho oh, ho, excuse me. Do not think me rude. But seriously, do you believe this story yourself? I mean no offense, but you must admit, you are an outlander, ignorant of our ways. How could you be our war leader? What sensible Ashcan could ever choose you to lead the tribes? Ho ho. Very well. A vampire named Calvario has taken refuge in the nearby Nerano Ancestral Tomb. If you're worthy as you say you are, it should be a small matter for you to dispose of your vampire. You have your task. Leave me in peace. Can you tell me where that is real quick? To the north. You're a stranger, and you may get lost. Listen. Go west until you reach the mountain, then turn north, follow the mountains, keeping them on your left. When you pass the ruins of Nishleft, keep your eyes to the east, looking for an entrance flanked by two trees on a watch the slope of the hill. <sighs> so we're going to go do that. Off camera. Alright, so I think I've tracked it down. Um, it is way further north than our ash cannon implies, I think. Oh my god, it's a rat. 
I'll get you with my spear talent. Should be, yep, yeah, there it is. So, as with many things in this game, if you just come here before and kill everyone. Oh, for God's sakes. I hate it when they do this to me. Okay. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do in this situation one moment. Alright, I don't really think there's a way to avoid getting that currently. However, I might have... Oh well. Let me leave that and that. I picked those up off of some Darth, uh, Dark Brotherhood chubs. Seventy-two long like wowzers. Pardon me, sir, but am I annoying you? So, for whatever reason, this key leads to a tomb in a different, like, vault, more or less. Sure, I guess. Alright, what on earth did he do to me? Poison trap. Vampiric dust. <laughs> You're a son of a bitch. That's it? Great. Jag off. Alright. Well, we killed him. Let's go pick up our goodies. And then let's... Ah, well. Um... Buckmouth, huh? Bit further away than when I want it to be. But that's okay. Actually, if we're gonna be here, we may as well proper get out of here. What do you think of our city now, Hunter? It's fine. Um, can I just get a thing to, is there a scrub that I can have? Yes, Outlander, what do you want? Let's see if I can just steal these, huh? Probably not. My stealing skills are not high. I could find a potion or uh, some booze to drink, though. That might be useful. Restoration. There we go. That's what I wanted.
So that's one thing that is, like, I think a pretty significant proof of Alm Civi's, like, divinity. The fact that you can actually pray to them and get something out of it, just like a regular god. If nothing else, that should prove that they do have some power. Even if it is acquired, uh... Incorrectly, maybe? Probably my wife texting me. Um, since I'm making pit stops, we may as well head back to Balmora just to... Actually, how much money do I have? A decent amount. This person is in the Thieves Guild, but they train you like a motherfucker. So where are you from? Like, you can train your shit up real, real high. Like, I think that might be a master trainer. Like, they go up all the way to the top. So while we're here, let's let's make some uh, deposits, shall we? <laughs> the big suck, right? Right, 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 right. All right, I'm not using Shadow Shield, so it can stay there. The Daedric Gauntlets. Go here. That looks pretty great. Um, Indoral shit still looks dope. I'm not sure if I'm going to wear it or not. Okay, I want the dragon. On this little bench, let's put... Let me see here what all we got. Um... I like having a weapons table. <laughs> that makes me feel cool. I'm really not going to use this axe, fam. Uh, the mace is staying with me, but the spear kind of sucks as well. So those are staying behind. I'm going to sell one of these adamantium jink blades. Because they're very good, but I do really only need one of them. I should at least. And I will do that to my man in the Fighters Guild. The wickweed is winnowed. The earth is prepared for planting. The enwall must die, and the flesh serve to sweeten the soil. Slave and foiler, foreigner, beast and man, all must die. All myrrh must accept our dominion or flee our wrath. Oops. That's not the quick save button. What crime? He's a scumbag. Ah, well. Oop, wrong place. We want this one. So in here, you can see the effects of that one bug I talked about where everyone moves a little bit to the right because we can no, we can no longer pass through these people. Barter. Take one of these off my hands, if you please. Do I have anything else? Not really. All right, thank you. I'm gonna do some more stuff and get back off camera. Hey, it turns out that this guy will just start attacking me. Which means that if he swings first, I don't get in trouble. Also, I learned that some of the things taking up space in my inventory are hammers. So we're just gonna clang our way through this.
And you know, we're going to leave him there as a reminder. I remembered I also have that House Dagoth cup, so I'm going to go drop that off. I really like leaving Caius' house, which is now my house, of course. But I like leaving Caius' house as this, like, big, cool reminder of, like, all the shit that happened in the main quest. Yeah, look at that. That looks cool as fuck. We're going to take one of these. We're going to put it there. Let's see if there's anything. Uh, I don't really need this or want it. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Starting to get a little... Little thing going here. You know what? I like that a lot. Hey, so, um, I've been jetting around Morrowind for quite a while. Like, it's actually been like two hours. But we're here in Aldrun to... I have Skumas? Skuma. I do. I'm a little bitch. I'm here in Aldrin to pick up a little something something. We've probably seen this all over the map. But I need some of it. Savani Bug Musk. Important for the relevant quest coming up. And while we're here, Clothier. Um, am I looking for expensive or exquisite? Uh, sorry, I'm just checking a guide here. Exquisite shirt, skirt, and shoes. One of these. Extravagant. Exquisite shoes. Hmm. Well, that's somewhat annoying. You sell those. Thank you. Go ahead, Outlander. What do you need? I need an exquisite skirt, please. And thank you. Can we hurry? Oh, you've got his boots. Is there something you need? Yes, but you don't have it. I don't think this is the... Oh, it is. Okay. Let's see if there's anyone else here. Pawnbroker. Well, let's, let's look. Why are you here? For Jesus Christ. Thorn in my side. Is there something I... All right, let me see. Common, common. Damn. Take some of these off my hands, will you? One. Fine by me. All right, next we're heading to the gate. Gate of Milges. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> make myself laugh. Gate of Milges, here we go. Yep. Gated Milge. Do you need something? Um 
Yes, I do, in fact. Um, see, one of these guys has the travel option and can warp me between... Yes, supposed to be able to warp me between things. But if that's not the case, I can always just catch a Celt to... Um, I don't know why I called it a Celt. Catch a Strider to Balmora and take it from there. Oh, here we go. A uh, wool Wolverine Hall. Here we go. Pizzazz. Do you need... I am good, thank you. While we're inside Ithmora, we could also check the Clothier here. This will all make sense soon. I decided to pick it up before I got back because it'll make the thing a little shorter. I could have done it when I was in here last time, but it slipped my mind and I didn't want to jump the gun too much. Ah, well. I'm smart, but not that smart. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, Jeremy's soul just blowing out my ears. Oh, that reminds me. Um, Elder Scrolls Six is happening. I mentioned a few days ago that, um, well, it, it'll be several episodes and weeks for you now, but I mentioned that um, Apakithery. That's not what I need. What, Sarah? Getting stuck on these stairs. Um... I mentioned a few days ago that um, the new game by the Dark Souls guy is finally coming out. Elden Ring has a full-on trailer now. But that's not what I'm uh, talking about today. Bethesda, makers of the Elder Scrolls, mentioned a while ago that they could not start development on the Elder Scrolls 6 until they had finished with Starfield. Now, I think that this is really stupid. Why in God's name, why in God's great unspeakable name would you announce a game that you have not even started development on? Really don't have time for this, so make it quick. Like, what in your right, what, why would you ever do this. My trade. Uh, Alka. All right, I'm listening. What about you? Know you? Uh, tradesman. Okay, so. From where do you hail? However, Starfield now has a release date, and that means that they can now start on Elder Scrolls Six. Scum. Smith. I need a clothes seller. It's the only time in this game you need to buy clothes. I'm guessing that's not it. I'll be back, actually. Hey, so I took a boat over to Talmora. And... Exquisite skirt. Perfect. Got exquisite shirt. Got everything. All right. Spoken deal. What is this about? Um, we can beat a path back to the Zainab camp now, which is here. It's here. Okay. I'll do that off camera. Hey, and we're nearly back. All right. I can actually see. Oh, who are you? Oh, it's a winged twilight. Pizzazz. I wish those things came back in other games. Skyrim is such an interesting problem with its flying enemies. Because dragons are the name of the game there, dragons are now one of the only things that can actually fly. And they, in fact, took flying enemies out. Cliff races are obviously extinct. Um, but... Like, they also took out Flying Daedra and any other flying monster. Hmm. 
Zynab Camp, there they are. So, name of the game here. We're not, of course, the Reverie of this camp yet. But we will be. I can spare a few. Look at Outlander. Dead. Well, perhaps I was mistaken. Perhaps you should be the Reverie. So you killed him. Well, I'll be happy to acknowledge you as Zainab Nureverine, but it's customary for one seeking an honor from the Ashcan to offer a generous gift as a mark of respect. Because you're an outlander and do not know our customs, I will do you the great favor of naming the gift I wish to receive. A highborn Telvanni bride. A pretty one, plump, with big hips to bring me many sons. Where you will find a highborn Telvanni bride? That's simple. Visit highborn Telvanni lords and inform them Ashkan Kusaud of Kushaud of the lordly Zainab would do them the honor of making their daughters his bride. Surely many Telvanni lords would be honored to receive such an offer. Consider carefully the many daughters offered and choose for me the finest. Take counsel with my wise woman, Sonomu Zabat. Zabamat, she knows my mind well in many such matters. So we've got a little problem here. Um... Somebody, I don't know who, but they certainly sound handsome, recently caused a serious Telvanni extinction, and there's a lot of dead Telvanni. We could go see that guy with five daughters, or four daughters, and a fat dwarf in his basement, but he's very loath to give them up, as they are his sex dolls and not anyone else's. That reminds me, next time we're in Talfir, I'm still murdering that guy. I didn't have the chance to when I was in town. Kushad wants a Telvanni bride, eh? No highborn Telvanni would wed an Ashlander. Yeah, I talked about how um, the Vathfir has constructed this place so that you can't get in if you're a barbarian. Because you have to fly, so you have to be rich enough to afford it, or you have to uh, be smart enough to cast the spell yourself. So yeah, like, it's not a great honor. But I have a plan. Go to my friend, Seville Imain. Slave mistress of the festival slave market in Telerun, and tell her you need a pretty Dunmer slave to pose as a Telvanni lady. She will tell you what clothes to buy and dress her like a highborn Telvanni. Escort her to Zainab camp and present her as a highborn Telvanni bride. He won't know the difference. It's this way. Under sun and sky, Outlander, we greet you. So of note, you can actually talk to some of the Telvanni about this if you're in good standing with them. I, of course, am not. Yeah, I am not in good standing. Actually, I don't think I've ever used recall before. League step. Let's make a big save. Ah, crap. That's my last save, huh? One moment, everyone. Hey, I took a brief stop over in Tel Arun, and uh, I found this giant slaughterfish who's just stuck on the shore. I'm gonna leave him there. Okay. Now let me see if this works how I think it does. Okay. I don't think it does. All right, I just Googled how recall works. I assumed incorrectly that it works much like, you know, that it's a quick travel spell. It is, but it's only one half of it. You require the Mark spell to do the other half. And I assumed that Mark worked like Mark from D&D, &D, where it, in fact, just marks a target. There doesn't appear to be a boatman here as well. So I think I'm stuck here. Um, of course, as is often the case, you can just walk it. But let's see if we can buy a, a person here. Boy, is this uncomfortable. I'll come back and murder these guys off camera. Don't worry.
This person is still alive, right? At your service. I'm listening. Oh boy, I guess I'm I guess I'm hoofing it again. All right, I'm caught up and I think I've learned my lesson. Stop leaving Morrowind open. All right. One thing that has proven to be a hang up about me going back to locations and assassinating other key NPCs is that I still have to fucking walk places. I feel like a dummy for selling that amulet of Mark. Since now I know that Recall and Mark are two halves of one spell. I suppose this is one of those things that's telling as to why I've only ever properly beaten this game once and never actually beaten the DLC. Because, yeah, this game is constructed around the magic system. Going the wrong way. Do I, though? That voice line is so good. I really love how they write it with two O's, you know? Stupid. Oh, you're alive? Then you get the joy of having your skull bashed in by my fanciest mace. Sorry, my cat's going nuts behind me. I thought he just took a shit on my floor, but in fact, he's actually just playing with something. And it made a fart noise. So yeah, head and tell Arun. Tell Arun. Oh boy. So because of all the saving and loading that happened last time, I don't know if that person is still alive. They should be. I think they should be. But yeah, there was a lot of save scumming that happened. Go ahead. Is there something you need? Now that I'm just saying hi. Yes. Give myself a little rest to get some stamina back. Right, tell her. The swimming will be a problem, I think. Because, yeah, as we've seen a few times, escort quests are a problem. Especially in this game and in this engine. But in general, they are. But, oh boy. Don't know how forward I look to that. And to be honest, yes. I am thinking about my next playthrough. Um, let's give that a shot, huh? Don't know if it's doing anything, but it seems cool. It'd be kind of interesting to have a playthrough where you only use um, weapons of past Nerebarines. You'd have to use your fists for quite a while of it, but then you'd have a lion's share of tools once you actually got to the relevant point of the game where you meet the other Nerebarines. Talk to that lady. I will. What do you want? Also, you may notice that I believe that Cage was, um, not open, or, uh, not filled last time, but now it is. Where's the lady? 
I'm getting a pain in my foot. Oh, what God. What is this about? Why has God blighted me? I slept, like, all day today. May I help you? Got anything good for me? Well, I'll be on my way. I'm listening. Wait, is your name Tullius? Huh, interesting. I wonder if you have any relation to the Tullius, uh, notably in Skyrim. Do you need something? Did you train me? Cool. Go ahead, Outlander. What do you need? Docks to the south, slave market to the north. Okay. So maybe I just need to... Boy, am I lost. Apokithery. Is there something I can do for you? So I think this is the place where you're supposed to buy a Telvanni bug musk. Or steal it. <laughs> Close this just in case. So where are you from? What happened to you? Hail. A healer can tend your wounds. Can you ask your question quickly? <laughs> I'm very busy standing here and being enslaved. Crap. Oh, I hate Telvani. <laughs> Well, that was unhelpful. Mm hmm. Getting the feeling that I am lost. I really hope that that lady isn't dead. Because like I mentioned, there was a lot of saving and loading last time. And I did, in fact, go on a reign of terror across the countryside. And I saved and loaded so many times. And I have no idea where I'm supposed to be now. I'm listening. Put on my pants. Come on. If you want some Anora. Oh boy. My hands cramping. You may speak. Where is your boss? I guess your boss is dead, and I killed her, and I should know that. But where's her underling? Wow. You guys are kitted out pretty good, huh? I think I only need one, actually. And it's just better to have more... Ooh. Ah, well. What about these? 
enchantment. Damn, huh? Oh, I'm poor. Well, thanks for nothing. Raggedy bitch. Yes, Outlander. Where is this person? Where is Sar Savil Iman? All right. I think a glitch happened. So I used console commands to teleport her to me. Um. So this should be fine now because she's supposed to be right here anyway. And for whatever reason, I couldn't find her. But I, I used console commands to just teleport her here because there are so, so, so many bugs and glitches on this. And I've been tearing through the wiki trying to find out where she could be. And she's supposed to just be standing right here anyway. So. All right. Something special. You saved a pose as a highborn Telvani. Sweet Alba. That's Zaba Madden in her plans. I have the slave you want. A pretty Dunmer girl. Go get these exquisite clothes and bring them to me. Yep. Exquisite. What am I what am I doing wrong, honey? Exquisite, exquisite, exquisite. What do you mean? I think we're wearing the same stuff, fam. <laughs> Fucking shoes. Where are my pants? Burger Graves. Put those on for now. Okay, I guess I'll just go and get some more then. Hey, turns out this place actually does have a caravanier. They just uh, fell in the water. Go ahead, Outlander. What do you need? So I guess I'll just rebuy these fucking clothes. I need exquisite gear. Did I not have exquisite last time? I thought for sure I did. But yeah, I've mentioned this several times now, but it bears repeating. There is a bug in this game where people who go and, like, walk a set path will go a little too far on, I think, the bottom left and on the bottom le left paths. Wait, can you just... Okay, you can't just give me the clothes. Okay. Exquisite shirt. Exquisite skirt. Exquisite shoes. Ring a ding ding. Hard part hasn't even started yet. Get me back to Tellerun, thank you. I think this means Tower of Home, which is kind of pleasant. Of course, it also does contain the slave market, which is less cool, but you know. We walk through here, just doing some window shopping. Oh, yeah, I found out also that there's going to be um, Resident Evil 8 DLC, and there originally wasn't going to be, and now there is. Good. These clothes are perfect. Hold on to them. You'll give them to her when you bought her. Uh, need time to coach her. Get, a, get some Talvani bug musk. Is there something I can do for you? You have the bug musk? Exquisite. Don't give it to me, you'll give it to her when you bought her. Let me tell you for my price. For this superb specimen, skillfully coached to pay her part in your little scheme, I'm pleased to accept the modest sum of 1,200 drinks. I offer this special price to you out of my friendship for Miss Zavamat. Since I like you, I'll take 1,100. Thank you for the custom. Come back soon. Here's the key to the cage. I've removed her bracers. When you're ready, 
Speak to her, give her the presents, and explain to her she's going to follow you to the Zionab camp. I'm yours. Cannot wait to... Uh, all right. I shall be a highborn Talvani lady, and no one shall know the difference. I admit I'm a little anxious about marrying an Ashlander, but anything's better than being a slave, and I'm tough and smart, determined to make the best of my chance. Oh, these clothes. The divines. To perfume. Only the rich can afford these. I shall do everything to please you and my new master, that is, my gracious lord and husband-to-be. I'm so excited. Travel together. Yes. Goodbye. All right, practice swings. You waste this Fam, don't I have the key? You know what? You know what? Actually. I'll leave these for you. You'll know what to do. Of course, as I've mentioned, that doesn't actually do anything in the grand scheme of things. Okay, you good? Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going the wrong way. Yep, sure I am. Oh boy, here we go. This is gonna suck. Right. Hopefully those nice pretty clothes don't get ruined when we run through all this mud and scum. Okay, we good? Okay, we're good. But yeah, let it be known that in my canon, Caius and that lady are dead. Even if I have to reload the save to fix it. Alright, come on, just get out of the water. Son, what is it? You just had dinner. I know for a fact you had dinner. I heard your dinner come out. I heard you chomping and munching away at it. Because you're my little fat boy. Do you want to be on camera again? Is that it? And yes, I'm going to record the whole... Hey, wait for me. I'm working on it, man. I'm going to record the whole trek back. Ooh. Oh boy. You're with me, yeah? Okay. Yeah, hey, other news from E3. Stalker 2's finally coming out. The fourth Stalker game. As some of you may remember, sometime last year, I attempted to play Stalker, one of them, and I really didn't like it. Not one bit. Just keep those things up and running. It'll also keep my weight lower, which is good. Should have bought this guy a waifu pillow instead. Yeah, let it be known that in the canon of Galena Pitchblend, 
I freed a whole bunch of slaves. Oh, I killed it. Um, and everyone that I don't like, except for Deviath Fear. I'll do that on camera. Hey, wait for me. Run faster. All right, a new home coming right up. Hey, wait for me. All right. Oh, I thought these rocks were the Zainab camp. They are not. All right, let's check. Everything's still good with the recording? It is. All right. Hey, wait for me. Oh, boy. Todd. Todd. Buddy. Here's your new home. I thought those rocks looked a little too small to be a whole bunch of yurts. Yes, yes, sir. We're here safely. This fine man, he's to be my bridegroom. He's distinguished looking, isn't he? A bit severe, perhaps, with the lines on his face there show he likes to smile. I think he'll be very happy. Is there something I can do for you? You have. This is my bride. I'm very pleased with my gift, although she is not as so, she's not so generous in the hips as I would like. I promise to make her a happy bride and to do her honor uh, as a highborn Telvanni lady. As I have said, I will name you Zainab Nurebarine, war leader of the Zainab and protector of the people. Shalafis will give you the Zainab Thong, an heirloom of the tribe, tribe which will be assigned to all Dunmer I named you Nurebarine. <laughs> well, I hope you two are very happy together. <sighs> all right. I don't know how um, morally good that is. Oh, brother. All right, let's get myself back out here. All right. Um. Three blessings, Sarah. What do you mean th three blessings? You guys don't believe in the tribunal. That's your whole thing. That's why you're Ashlanders. You do not need my counsel, but I'll give you the words of my dream. When the Nereverine goes to Red Mountain to face Dagoth Ur, he carries the hearts of his kin with him. Whose hearts? Whose kin? Who knows? Who speaks to my dreams? Oh my fucking god. Alright, well. That's, uh, that's great. Yeah, cool. I am now the Nereverine of this tribe as well. And next, we're going to head to there, the Anahamusa. Um, so yeah, I am now, let me check the list here. Telvani Hortator, Ushulaku Nureverin, and Zainab Nureverin. Next time, I will become Anahamusa Nureverin, and the Ereb Benimusan Nureverin. All right. So yeah, I've been Alfred. I'll see you guys next time. And this has been Morrowind, and I am now two Nereverine and one Hortator. Yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.